Welcome to our exciting exploration of cutting-edge technology. Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi and the Renesis RA4M1 board and how they interface with FPGA using URT. The tutorial is about creating a system that interfaces Python, Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi with a Renesis RA4M1 board and an FPGA using URT. This project focuses on generating programmable square waves with adjustable frequency and duty cycle, all controlled via a Python GUI. Whether you're interested in electronics, programming, or signal processing, this tutorial will provide a comprehensive guide to building and understanding this innovative system. Let's dive into the details of our project and how you can replicate it. The first component of our system is the Python GUI, designed using the PYQT5 library. This library has enabled us to create a user-friendly interface that serves as the command center for controlling our hardware components. Our GUI includes straightforward connectivity controls. These buttons allow users to connect or disconnect the COM port with ease, ensuring seamless communication between the host PC and the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. The GUI features radio buttons for mode selection, providing users with the ability to easily choose the operational mode of the system. This flexibility is key to tailoring the system's performance to specific needs. Input fields for wave configuration are available for users to specify the period and duty cycle of the square waves. This feature grants users precise control over the waveform characteristics, enabling customization for various applications. Lastly, the Python GUI is responsible for sending 8-bit serial data to the Arduino. This is where the communication process begins, showcasing the GUI's critical role in initiating the system's operations. Moving on to the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi, the heart of our system. It's powered by the Renesis RA4M1 processor, which is key to its ability to efficiently process and forward data between the Python GUI and the FPGA. The Arduino is programmed to receive serial data from the Python GUI. This crucial step ensures that the commands inputted by the user are accurately received and ready to be forwarded to the FPGA. Upon receiving the serial data, the Arduino forwards it to the FPGA through its UART port. This demonstrates the Arduino's pivotal role as a bridge in our system, enabling data transmission from the software to the hardware domain. The Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi serves as an essential intermediary. It translates software commands into hardware actions, ensuring that the high-level inputs from the GUI are effectively communicated to the FPGA. The Arduino ensures seamless integration within our system, highlighting its importance in the smooth communication between the Python GUI and the FPGA. It's what makes real-time control and adjustments possible. At the end of our communication chain lies the FPGA, equipped with a URT interface, a register bank, and programmable timers. This setup allows for the generation of precise and customizable square waves. The FPGA utilizes 8-bit registers for precision control. By splitting the data into MSB for addressing and LSB for data, we achieve detailed control over the waveform's period and duty cycle. With 12 programmable registers, including a mode register, the FPGA offers extensive flexibility. This allows users to fine-tune operation modes and timer settings, adapting to a wide range of applications. The capability to program the timers on the fly is a significant advantage. It means that adjustments to the waveform can be made in real time, based on immediate feedback or changing requirements. Lastly, we utilize a PC-based oscilloscope to visualize the output waveforms. This not only provides validation of the system's performance but also offers a powerful tool for debugging and optimization. It is time to put everything together and see the complete picture. To put things into perspective, we have host PC, Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi, Renesis RA4M1 board and FPGA board. The PC uses Python GUI to send the 8-bit serial data through URT to Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno passes on this 8-bit data to FPGA. The FPGA splits data as address bits and data bits. These address and data registers are used to load various 4-bit registers in a register bank. The mode register is used to load the clock divider register and on-time registers. The mode timers are also used to enable the timers. Based on the clock division value and the on-time value the timers are used to produce square wave. The variable period, variable duty cycle square waves can be observed on an oscilloscope. Let us see the project in action. The Python GUI is running on the host PC. We start by connecting the Python GUI to the COM port with a baud rate of 115,200. 
A corresponding message is displayed in the GUI. Then we start the free running mode. In this mode, the 8-bit timer division register is set to its maximum value, that is 255 in decimal and ff in hex. Similarly the 8-bit on-time register is set to 50% duty cycle, that is 127 in decimal and 7f in hex. Both the timers are on. Hence, the square waves produced by both the timers of 50 MHz divided by 255, that is 196 kHz with a duty cycle of 50% can be viewed on the PC-based oscilloscope. In the next step we will change the values of timer division register and the duty cycle registers of the timers on by one. The corresponding changes are visible on the PC-based oscilloscope. Although we can change division factor or duty cycle in any order, it is advisable to change the duty cycle first and then the division factor. For each setting, three values of 8-bit data is sent serially through the URT. The first 8-bit contains the address and data for 4-bit LSB registers corresponding to division factor register or on-time duty cycle register. The second 8-bit contains the address and data for 4-bit MSB registers corresponding to division factor register or on-time duty cycle register. The third and final 8-bit values are the address for mode register and the corresponding mode to enable setting of various registers in the register bank. The serial data transmitted by the Python GUI to the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board is sent back as an acknowledgement. The data received by Python GUI from the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi is displayed in the text area. The LEDs in the FPGA board shows the last 8-bit data received by the URT. The expected square wave frequency and duty cycle after division is displayed on the Python GUI. The actual frequency of the generated square wave is shown by the oscilloscope. It can be seen that despite a frequency variation of less than 1%, the expected and actual square wave frequency is same. We experiment with various values of clock division ratio and duty cycle. The corresponding changes are visible in the PC-based oscilloscope. When we send multiple requests to the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board in quick succession, the Arduino Uno response may not be received before the next transmission. This condition is reflected by the GNO response received a message. However, Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board has been programmed to send the data to FPGA received from Python GUI before sending the acknowledgement. In this demo we are only using the data transmission from R4 Wi-Fi board to FPGA and not the data reception. Since the transmission channel is free, multiple messages can be sent from the R4 Wi-Fi board to FPGA without any error or congestion. Therefore while we may get no response received a message, the change in division factor or duty cycle is still reflected in the output of square wave. Finally, we disconnect the COM port and reset the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board and hardware design running on FPGA board. After reset, we reconnect the Python GUI and the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board COM port connection. After successful COM port connection we run the free running mode once again. This brings us to end of our video on connecting the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi and Renesis RA4M1 board with FPGA using URT. Today, we've navigated through the intricacies of setting up these powerful platforms to communicate seamlessly, opening doors to countless applications. For example, in motor control applications, PWM signals are commonly used to regulate motor speed. We can control the current flowing through the motor by altering the on-time or the frequency of the PWM signal. The project described here can be utilized in applications where either the on-time is kept constant while changing the frequency or the frequency is kept constant while adjusting the on-time. The design also highlights the application of human-machine interface for industrial automation. We hope you try these ideas in your own work. If you have questions or something to share, please comment below. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more simple guides. Keep experimenting, stay curious, and until next time, happy coding!